Well, kicking down barriers, the girl suiting up for every varsity football game alongside her male teammates. Now, at first, coaches and players didn't know what to make of Anna Zerilli, but the Manchester Essex kicker won them over with her skill and determination, as WBZ's Shante Land shows us all new at five. Let's go, boys! The Manchester Essex Hornets are fired up. One of their starting players is in a league all by herself. Nobody in my family like really plays football. I mean, I have a few cousins who play football, but I kind of just went with this myself. At just five foot two and weighing a hundred pounds, Anna Zarelli is the first ever varsity team female kicker. Now a junior, she joined during her freshman year. It was challenging at first, but I've, um, it's fine now because I get a lot of support from my team. After every kick, I give her a pat on the back. I say great job before every kick. I just tell her that she's going to make it and she's going to do great. She's got 20 extra points right now. She's fifth, I believe, or sixth among the Cape Band scorers for extra points. Rick Gonzalez has been coaching kickers for 47 years. I've never had a female kicker, and no, I have I seen a female kicker. I know there's been a few of them in the state, but uh, as far as my coaching any, this is the first time. I enjoy that moment when I make it and my entire team gets happy about it. That's, that's my favorite moment. That's why I continue doing it. It's not an easy thing to do, and uh, watching her into the field every time she does, it makes me feel like she's the bravest person I've ever met. It's a small school, and the fact that we have a girl kicker is really empowering. There's no reason why they can't do it. I'd like to see it. And this is the Hornets' last home game. Their last game of the season is on Thanksgiving, but Anna's considering taking things even further. Her mom says she's looking at both D2 and D3 colleges. In Manchester, Shante Lands, WBZ News.